Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace website designer for travel photographers and today we're talking about another way you can make your site just a little bit more mobile friendly. So last week we looked at text specifically. So we talked about the fact that Squarespace does quite a good job on making your site friendly for tablets and for mobiles. You can see it automatically changes some things to make it nice and mobile friendly. But there is a couple little tweaks you can do just to make it just a little bit more of a, a better user experience. So last week we talked about text and altering some of the text just to fit um, your brand and style a little bit more, especially with buttons and things like that. Today we're going to be talking about images. So you notice that as we go down, there's some images here. But um, personal preference to me, I think this image is maybe just a little bit too big for mobile. I want the main focus to be on the text and what this image is kind of drawing attention to the text. But here I feel like the image is overtaking the space. So I might want to make the image just a little bit smaller so that this text takes up um, a more of a focus of the screen. So to do that, we're going to go to design custom CSS and we're going to put in some uh, code here that will only apply to mobile. So the very first thing you're going to need to put in is some breakpoints in mobile. So just copy and paste the code provided below this video and this gives some breakpoints um, for your code. So this says that if the screen is less than 640 you're going to apply the mobile code and if it's between uh, 641 and 949 pixels, you're going to apply some of the tablet code. So that means it will only apply the code you type between these two lines when your screen is the size of a tablet. And whatever's between these two lines, it will only apply for when it's on mobile. Okay, so that's the first step. Now for images, I generally leave um, the tablet section. There's not generally too much I have to do for tablet, it's more for mobile. So all the other text you're going to put in between these two lines to change it only when it's on a mobile screen. So if we want to change just you know your basic images, all of the images that are using from an image block, you're going to paste the following code provided below this video. And you can see it's already adjusted it. I usually have it set to 80 just to make it just a little bit smaller. But if you want to play with it, you can change this number. and It'll make it, you know, however small you want to go. Um, but remember that if you have text, if your text that you have here is within the image block, it will also make that a little bit smaller. So you don't really want to change that too much. I like to just make it 80 just to shrink it a, a little. Okay, and that shrunk all the images. Um, throughout the site that are in an image block. Okay, If you want to only change the images from a specific page, so this front one is an index page, meaning that these pictures and text here is on one page, but as soon as we get here you'll notice this has another section. That's because this is another page within that index. So if I wanted it to apply only to these images and not to the images in the next section or on other pages of my website, then you'll need to change um, or add in at the front of this the name of that page. So we use a hashtag to symbolize that we're using an ID. And then if you go to um, whatever section you want to change, and at the top you'll see settings, if you click on settings, Whatever you have here in the URL, that is what is the page name in the code. So copy and then paste it right next to that hashtag. Okay. And it will change the size of the images. You'll notice that these images are changed. But if we go down to the next page on that index, these haven't changed. So as I change this number, nothing happens to these ones. So it only applies to the images, image blocks in intro, which is this section up here. Okay. Let's say there is um, a specific image. So I want to change the size of this image, but I don't want it to affect any other image on my site. 
That's a little bit trickier because we have to call up the block ID. So if you right click and select inspect, it'll bring up the code for these images and you can see that as I hover over this, it shows here um, what code that applies to. And I want to find the block ID. So as I scroll up, you'll see that it has a ID YUI. I don't want that because that can change as you add and change things on your website. So you don't want those ones. And again, so I have them here. So I want to keep scrolling up until I have one that when I hover, so here I hover over this and it's still highlighting that image, but the ID here is block ID. So that's, that's the one I'm looking for. Okay. It's usually at the top of that section. So if I keep scrolling, you'll notice that it no longer highlights just that section. So it's usually at the top of the coding section that applies to that image section, that image block. So I want to copy this ID and paste it here with a hashtag in front and that will change all of this. So you don't want the image, like anything here, but the name of that block, and you're changing the width of that. So again, you can see as I change this, it changes the image size, but it doesn't affect any of the other images. So it's just changing the size of this block. Again, remember that that also changes the text if the text is within that image block. So if you don't want that to happen, then paste this as, or put this as a text block, not part of the image block, and that way you can change this without changing the size of the text. So that is how you change and alter some of the images on your site. Um, I feel that that helps just give a little bit more padding around the images to make it more visually appealing on mobile. So again, just another little tweak you can do to make your site more mobile friendly.